God, just kidding. Please be seated. Welcome to Sunday Morning Mass. Here comes the collection plate. Get ready. <laughs> hey, you make a donation when you go to church each week, right? Yeah, yeah. Why not make a donation to our Mass? And uh, you can do that through our PayPal account, uh, which you'll find a link below. Uh, a couple things we wanted to get to. This is Sunday Morning Mass. So this is kind of a free-for-all for us where we uh, go over some things, uh, some plans that we have for the future, some goals, uh, some statistics, and mostly your comments and email make up most of the show. Yep. Uh, we were off last Sunday, Ronnie. We didn't have a Sunday morning mass. I had a pretty bad week. I had a pretty crazy week. You did, and yeah. we were almost certain we weren't going to film a show this week because of Ronnie's work schedule. But here we are. The last minute, he sent me a text and said, hey, uh, this is going on, and I can be available tomorrow morning to shoot the Mass. And so we said, let's do it. Right. Now, here's the thing. Uh, yesterday, some of you may have seen us testing out a live stream. Yep. And uh, there were two that I'm aware of that we sent out, and it was amazing, Ronnie. The moment we went live... People started freaking out. I was a little shocked. Yeah. Uh, w. W22 was the first one on. Uh-huh. Uh, shortly followed by uh, Paul Paul was there. And on and on. And on and on was AU there. AU Rocks was yeah. there. So. All of you guys that are regulars on our show, at, at the moment we go live, you knew. Uh, so you saw the test, and we did have a problem uh, with audio. Yep. And we have a couple of ideas, but Ronnie knows a guy. I've been emailing him. You got a guy? I got a guy. You got to have a guy, Ronnie. He's got a semi-solution that we're going to have to try out. So who knows? Maybe next week we'll we'll test it again and see what we come up with. And well, look, if we need to buy a microphone, I, I'll go out and buy a microphone if that's what it takes. I think we may need to. Okay. Well, so. we've got the money in the fund. It'll have to come but, out of the fund treasure fund. But I think we need to check with that OBS, setting up OBS first. So we'll okay. try that. Uh, if any of you have any suggestions... Uh, here's a time where you could jump in. Yes. With a suggestion yeah. on our show. We will take suggestions uh -huh. gladly. You know, we're two grumpy 60-year-old men, and we use technology, but we don't know how it works. We just count on it to work. Yeah, I push the AC button on my truck, right, and it gets cold in there. It, that's what we expect. I like it. So we need some help. Yeah. Millennials, I know <laughs> I know what we say all the time about millennials. But we don't, we don't actually hate you. No, no. We appreciate how much you know. See, here's the thing. You didn't even grow up with books. That's true. Yeah, they've always known computers. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we've said it before. When we had to do a book report or... Research on a project, like a, a state. Get out the encyclopedia, the Funk and Wagnalls. You had to go to the library. Go to the library. And you'd have to make copies, remember, Ronnie? Yeah. You'd have to make copies, and it would cost you like a dime or a nickel or something. How forever. about microfiche? Have you ever used that? Oh, once or like, twice, but God, that was research? 100 years ago. Oh, man. Yeah, so we need some millennial assist uh, yeah. assistance in this uh, situation. Current technology. Okay, so there you have that. Um if, you'd, if you're watching right now, know that we are, at the same time, watching this episode. Yep. And you can comment, because when you do, we are here to immediately reply to you. This is as close, as Ronnie says, to going live as, as we can get right now. But you can see... We're, we're, we're so close. Diligently working we're on so it. so close. When we say we're going to do something, and we're not going to half-ass it, right. that's what we mean. Right. So until this is absolutely correct... And our goal, I think, is to do Sunday morning mass live from here on Sunday mornings. That would probably be, that would work out. Okay, yep. so uh, that's uh, in the hopper as well. Yep. Uh, our website has been refreshed. There are a lot of new, fun things to do when you visit. Ronnie has a new blog. Thank yeah. you, Ronnie. Yeah. And a very nice one, too. Thank you. My blog for my 60th birthday uh, is on there, mm -hmm. and you can read those. Comment, if you like, uh, at the bottom of each one of them. Uh, we used to use blogspot.com, but we now have the ability on our website Got to just website. post them there. Yeah. So uh, if you want to read our blogs, go to our website. What is that website, Ronnie? Uh, MenAreSoSmart.com. Yeah, we're dot .comers. To tell Pretty you what. freaking easy. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Since we're on the subject, here are three from the website. And um, let's see. Are you a fan of Lou, Ronnie, 
both of them together? Neither. This one says both of them together. That's nice. Uh, what would you like to see men do more of? Other. We can do. We do a lot of other. We do. Yeah, mostly other. And and this is <laughs> this is obviously from somebody who watches the show and knows me very well. The comment they left was, "I wouldn't dare try to force a topic. It needs to flow naturally." <laughs> yeah. As long as I can wrap my head around it, we bring it to you. I think in all the shows we've done, we've taken one viewer suggestion for a show. Yeah. We like to find our own stuff. Okay, so let's see. Here's another one coming up. What's what's my computer so slow for? There we go. Uh, when do you think the Forest Fen treasure will be found? This person says before winter comes. That's, well, that's, that's a given. It's 104 degrees here. Yeah. in Sacramento right now. <laughs> but it's not going to stay that way for too long. I just saw some video somebody posted the other day. Uh, I can't remember where the hell they were. But there was still snow. Oh, I bet. On the ground where they were. Uh, at an elevation above 6,000 feet, the chances are pretty darn good. Yeah. I would think. I wish I could remember who that was that posted uh, that. This person says, uh, before winter comes, uh, explain, I am so close. Uh, they say in their comment, presumption is the nemesis of success in the chase. Ooh. That's kind of deep that's on a kinda, couple levels. That's very prophetic. And they go on to say, men are so smart is my choice for Forest Fed News and Entertainment. Aww. Thank you very much. Thank Unfortunately, you. we don't get a name yeah. on that. So we can't thank you personally, but we sure do appreciate that. And I promised that I would do three of these. And if my laptop will, uh, go ahead. Ron. Well, you know what? Oh, here, I got it. Okay. Oh, okay. There uh, we was go. Was it this one? The last one? Did I go in order? I hope I did. I'm sorry. Here it goes. Let's find out. Yes. Yeah, so now, look. Here's one. Cassie Whitlock oh. sends a, a, an email to us. And okay. a comment says, hi, guys. Just discovered you. My husband, Rich, and I are heading out to look for Fenn's treasure August 3rd through the 11th. Oh, very cool. We have three solves we will be exploring, and we'll keep you posted on our progress. If you want us to look at a specific place, let us know, and we will video that for you. Love your channel. By the way, we live in Woodland, California. Damn. Man. They're just right around the corner. They're in our hood. Yeah, Cassie, thank you so much. Yeah. You know what's really cool, Ronnie, is what this means when I get these, very simply... The person has watched our video. They have gone down to the descriptor below. They have found out our website. They've linked to it. They've called it up. They've done a survey and took time to make a comment. That's all. I mean, that's like more than a trifecta. They took a lot of additional steps. I cannot tell you how much that means to us. That is so cool. Cassie. Thank you. Yeah. I did send her a message, Ronnie, um, because I work in Woodland, and, right. and I'm there every day. Yeah. And, and so I said, please, please come by with your husband and say hi to me at the welding supply store where I work um, before you go. And so I'm looking forward to that. That is an amazing trip. I would love to join them, but I'll be at Hot August Nights. Oh, right, right. For mm -hmm. some of those nights there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have a comment. This is on our Baby Boomers much wa must watch this show. Uh, James Devine says that they'd call the bowling alley and ask them if they had 10, 10 pound balls. Bowling alley, <laughs> bowling alley would always say yes. Sure. And then we'd ask them, how the heck can you walk? <laughs> so what we, and we did that same, that prank has got to be a hundred years old. Well, since bowling alley's around, right. we would do the same thing, except we would ask them, well, wear baggy pants and nobody will notice. <laughs> yeah. So we, we went, took a little different route than, than you did. That's hilarious. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let me. Oh, Tony Henman. Tony, thank you so much for your generous donation. I appreciate what you did. Um, and I, I, we are still, let, let's touch on that right now, Ronnie. This is Sunday morning mass, and we can do whatever we want on this show right now. Um, we are collecting money to make a pay a visit to Forest Fan in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Right. We started up a PayPal account, paypal.me slash men are so smart. 
And I can tell you that we have raised just about $700. Our mission is to get to $1,500. Uh, when we get there, and we will, but only with your help, uh, we will stop the PayPal account. We're not in this to make money that way, no. okay? We are in this like a business would raise capital so that they can fund a project. That's essentially what this is for us. This is a business which we we love to do. Worst business model ever. You got it. <laughs> and who came up with that? Yeah, worst business model ever. So uh, if you are a person who has no kids, has no grandkids, lives a uh, stress-free, work-free environment perhaps, and you have some, what was the word you used? Discretionary, Discretionary money. income, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, we need you. Uh, we could use a couple hundred dollar dona donations to get us there. Um, it, it, we're just about halfway. Uh, if you can help, man, we sure would appreciate that. Uh, I've even put some of my uh, radio station money that I get into that fund as well. Now, with that money, that brings us to our next point. With the money that we've raised so far, we've made a purchase, or several purchases, uh, in an effort to get us to be able to live stream on YouTube. Oh, and we're close. Oh, very close. Oh, so close. Uh, once we get audio, get that patched in, we are ready to go. And our plan is to do it on Sunday mornings Yep. for Sunday morning Mass. Um, now, as I've mentioned before, and Ronnie did too, we're doing this live and watching it live with you on Sunday morning and if you have comments or questions or whatever suggestions uh, you can leave them right now and we are watching with you we will reply immediately we try to be the most available YouTube hosts that we know of anyway I know I'm watching a lot of the the C8 the 8th generation Corvette mm -hmm. was just released a mm -hmm. week ago or so and actually not even a week ago and I have been watching the hell out of those channels. And I reply to them. And some of the people have done a really nice job on their videos. And I reply to them. There's no, there's no answer. They, they post their videos and they're done. Yeah. Which, you know what? That's, that, you know, that's cool. And I, part of it I get, some of them have, you know, 50,000 subscribers. Right. So, yeah, maybe they can't go through and reply to everybody. Trust us. If we get 10,000 subscribers, we're still going to reply to everything that we can reply to. Yeah. We And we we do that. Uh, man, I pull up my comments every hour or two, and I look for new comments, and I reply to them, and I try to, you know, keep people know that we are, we're connected to them. So. And see, Ronnie and I have uh, polarized opposite lives. He's semi-retired and does pretty much what he does all day. I, on the other hand, I'm a working stiff and work eight to five every day. And so my point is not to tell you what we do, but to tell you that we are on it at different times. Right. A lot of times when I see Ronnie is on and replying, I'll take a little break. Yeah. Uh, from reply, replying to everybody. And, I, and also Ronnie, but tell them about liking videos too when we don't have necessarily have time at that moment. Well, so if we just get on there and we see your comment, but we don't have time to leave a, a reply, we may just initially like your comment just so you know that we've seen it. Yeah, and, and the chances are very good that at the next available moment, we're, we're probably going to reply. Right. Unless it just doesn't require a reply. Some, some comments are uh, just fun and, or saying, hey, like what you did. Yeah. You know, I mean, a lot of times I'll still give you a, hey, thanks. Appreciate that. Because it does. It is it is nice to know. Now, our goal right now is to make it to 1,000 subscribers. And we are very focused on this, friends. Um, I'm looking for any ideas on how we can raise our subscribers. We're at 600. And we need to be at 1,000. Um, and you know what? Here's an email that I, rep uh, that I got from... Sean Dodson from the flip side uh, and I'll tell you the purpose of me bringing to this in a moment he says Lou don't worry about getting subscribers 
Just do what both of you do and they will come. I have paid close attention to other FenTuber numbers and what I've learned is that one subscriber's numbers doesn't equate with view counts and other metrics that some equate with a successful YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Just be you and have fun and you will have a true following that will be represented in your subscriber numbers and views. Both you and Ronnie are doing an amazing job. Keep it up. Oh. But we got another email from, from Sean, didn't we, Ronnie? You want to take that one? Well, are you talking about the, uh, yeah. the Tuesday? So Tuesday, after he does his flip side uh, show, we are going to be on there doing a, a free-for-all. Mm -hmm. Basically a, a mass. An encore. Yeah, it's going to be an encore to his flip side. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing in particular. Not all Fen Treasure? No, no. It's wide open. Mm -hmm. And we'll just be responding to comments people are leaving. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully I can pull them up and see them this time. Uh, so it, it is. It's going to be uh, kind of an open format. The sky's the limit. Anything goes. Now, so. Ronnie, as you'll remember, I... Uh, while we were doing the episode, not only was I having cold beer, but I had a few shots of tequila, too. Yes. Uh, yeah. And one of them, with the salt that I took, uh, yeah. I ended up coughing pretty good live. Yeah. Uh, that we, could happen again. I'm not making any promises. I, I gave you a card to the nearest TB clinic. <laughs> yes, and, so, and I went, and I'm yeah. okay. You're all right. I'm okay. all right. All right. But you know what? I want to see Ronnie have a one beer on uh, Tuesday night. I have one in my refrigerator. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. So. Yeah. I'll drink it. Uh, we will be on the flip side. It should be shortly after 8 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Mountain time, and you can adjust accordingly depending on where you're watching. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we've been asked back. Who would have thought, Ronnie? Uh, that doesn't happen very often. I, I, we, we go to parties. We never get a second invite. No. No. Hell no. Yep. All right. So let's do... Um, We've taken care of some business, haven't we? Yes. All right, so hey, let, why don't you do some comments? Can oh. I read this email? Of course you can. Okay. So this was sent to me, and i got to thank you because you've told people, hey, if you're crazy, send your emails to Ronnie. Right. I do get them all. Yeah, he does. Yep. Uh, this is from The Finder, okay? And The Finder says, Ronnie, indulgence was located and retrieved by myself in September of 2018. Ah, come on. He's talking about the treasure. Okay. Uh, I refuse to contact Forrest Fenn. This is not a hoax. Mm -hmm. mm, all right. Gee, I've heard that somewhere before. Yeah. <laughs> this will be my only correspondence related to the retrieval. I have a message for Forrest Fenn. If you would be so kind to relay the message is... I read your poem over and over, then over again. I would even ride my exercise bike backwards while watching the kids and uh, old cartoon movies. I have never read your book. I married the clues to the map. My lines crossed. I won! Exclamation point. Mm -hmm. uh, and then thanks for the chase. From the finder. The finder, you say. He goes on. He's got one little There's more. There's more. There's a little more. All right. To the Fenners. Okay. His message is, I won. Exclamation point. Thank you for the good times from the finder. Check that battery. Well, Ronnie, uh, I, I guess there's no point in finishing this show. No, I guess it's over. It's over. Sorry. Yeah. Everybody else, you came oh, in second place. Oh, you know what, Ronnie? Before I, I proclaim that the treasure is found, um, can you show me some of the pictures or uh, some of the clue solves that, that he had? Yeah. So let me tell you what uh, what my reply was okay. to the finder. I said, that's very interesting indeed, and congratulations. Uh -huh. Although we have weekly contact with Forrest Fenn, I don't think it would be in our best interest to forward that type of information without some pretty convincing pictorial proof. Thank you, Ron. Again, kudos on the discovery, uh -huh. Ronnie. Okay. So there is no proof. No. Uh, the necklace, the... Bracelet. The bracelet, I'm sorry. Mm. No pictures, Ronnie? No pictures. No solves, no, no. clues, no... 
No, he doesn't just a give yeah. proclamation. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that that's legitimate. I'm so sure he found it. I, I guess like he we found just it. might as well stop. Huh? Yeah, let's end this now. All right. Yep. Well, that's what we'll have to do. We really didn't get to any of our comments. That's a shame because we had some good ones. Sunday morning mass. Yep. Well, maybe we can do a Fen Friday episode. There you go. Uh, okay. Well, there you have an update. Kind of a state of the men are so smart union. Whoo, yeah. man. That's a, that's a shocker. Um, once again, we appreciate your watching. Goosebumps. No, I, Re I don't. No. I don't Remember, that. we need to get more subscribers to our channel. Yeah. Uh, that is one way that we can be deemed a successful show and perhaps allow for a money stream to happen for our business. It is a business. And we do need some success in our life. We do. We have none, nothing else. God knows. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing. No. Uh, okay, so uh, subscribe to the channel. I think you get the hint, okay? And tell some friends to do so as well. If they have minds like you and us, make sure they watch the show. And another thing, ladies, I'm seeing a whole bunch of correspondence from ladies who watch this show. Isn't that cool? It is, and here's why. The men are so smart moniker can be really deceiving. A little off-putting, maybe. Uh, perhaps. Yeah. And it, it, please understand that we, the name of the show is not Men Are Smarter Than Women. Right. And never once have we ever claimed that. I think quite the opposite is true. Yeah. What was that line you had not too long ago about it's ironic or iconic? Do you remember what that was? Yeah. Well, it's not. Yeah. It's not iconic. It's, it's more ironic. ironic. There you go. Men yeah. are so smart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you can get past that, ladies... We really think you'll enjoy the show. I, I don't think we gear it specifically just to men. No. Uh, we're just two grumpy old guys who bitch and complain and moan. I had about, some kids on my lawn last night. Ah, damn kids. God dang it. You know, we don't have that problem at the Gallagher compound. No. We have an armed guard out front. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> don't try. Yeah. I don't. Uh, it'd be like uh, invading Area 51. <laughs> don't recommend that either. Bad things can happen. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, so, this has been Sunday Morning Mass. And we are so glad that you are with us today. Uh, we will get to your comments on the next show that we do. That will be on Friday. We'll have Fan Mail Friday. Uh, so lots to come. Be sure and check out our library. If you enjoy the show, we have like 450 episodes that we've done. It's, it's an astronomical number. Yeah. And if you can't find something in our library that interests you, then you're just not trying. You must be a wet sock. A wet sock. That's what you is. So thank you again. Just saying. Uh, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And you all may be seated. That re that'll bring us to the conclusion of Sunday Morning Mass. I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. See you next time. Bye-bye.